Is this it? Yeah, it must be. We have to take advantage of the daylight we have left. I'll start unloading things. You take a look, okay? Ines de Ordoña, the leader of the Order of the Flesh, commissioned exact replicas of the medallions on the facade of Notre Dame for a church he was planning to build. Do you understand, Chop? If we find the church, we find the Order of the Flesh.
Did you know that the first person to catalog zinc as a metal was Paracelso, the greatest alchemist in history? Did you know that in Sanskrit the word sulfur is the same as the word for enemy? You holding up okay? More or less. The trip was exhausting. Thanks for schlepping through all those miles for me. I couldn't refuse, but you're right, it was exhausting. I was in pretty good shape up to Glasgow, but then exhaustion got the better of me. I parked in front of a motel next to the highway and slept three hours in the car. <laughs> but it looks like it wasn't enough. I'm in the same shape as you are. This jet lag is killing me. Let's take advantage of the few hours of daylight we have left, John. It'll be dark in a little while, and we won't be able to do anything but sleep. Let's make use of the time we have left. Then we'll bed down in the jeep. Together? Of course, numbskull. In that case, I'm praying that it gets dark real soon. Don't get your hopes up. We're too tired to take advantage of the night. Finding anything interesting in your father's diary? No, nothing that can directly link him to this place. I found a cross that's very similar to the one your father built. Oh, yeah? The diary mentions an identical one. Could the one you found have been the model it was based on? It's possible, yes. Finding anything interesting in your father's diary? But there is something in here about the cross. Mercury in the right arm, sulfur in the left, salt in the top end, and fire in the base. When we first met, when I told you to meet me at the airport, did anything disappear from the store? No, nothing. Well... Part of the mercury my father had on hand, but it was you who took it just before you disappeared. You told me that it could hold the key. Then I returned to the hotel, and Marcel used it to poison me, and... And when I came out of the coma, I had lost my memory. Finding anything interesting in your father's diary? There's one phrase that strikes me in particular. Mercury to remember. It's a quotation from Paracelso, it seems. But in your case, it was just the opposite, since in the end, it was the mercury that made you lose your memory, right? The American guy who had dinner with your father the night before they killed him. I think it was Henry White. Me too. But one thing's clear. He ordered my father's murder, and I swear that I'm going to make him pay for it. I think I remember meeting your father. What? When? I don't know. They're just random flashbacks, but I did meet him. You told me about a friend of your father's. Choke. A weird guy. He was sick in the head. He had a strange fascination with the Inquisition. It was like he wanted to go back there or something. I was scared of him. He shouted a lot. He, he got angry with my father. One day, they argued so much that my father kicked him out and... I never saw him again. My father never told me what it was about. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in all this, Pauline. Don't be sorry. Otherwise, I never would have met you. And that's the only thing that's keeping me going. <laughs>
And the coin of judgment to outwit the creator himself. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters! Silence! I've asked you to come to the Hall of Eternity because the peace of our community has been disturbed. <gasps> One of us has prevented the carnal act from being consummated. <laughs> Show yourself, heretic! Who are you? My name is Miguel de Castro, son of Don Alvaro de Castro, the Duke of Fuentenegra. Is that so? We'll be sure to send our condolences to the Duke. <laughs> you have been my right hand since we started this church. But you've betrayed us! Confess your crime! I offered my soul to the devil to curry favor with him. That's a crime, haven't we all? I've tortured innocent people to extract their knowledge. And you were probably one of the best torturers this order has ever seen. But that's not the source of your betrayal. I received the body of Christ in sin. To please our Lord Satan. You know very well that such an honorable deed does not constitute disloyalty. I've opened tombs, profaned cadavers, and stolen their organs. I myself asked you to do it. You can't be repentant for that. <laughs> I've murdered over 50 people in cold blood. Men, women, old people, and... 
And? You lost your resolve, heretic. You disobeyed my orders when you helped the one chosen to complete the carnal act. <gasps> he was just a child. And what difference does age make when you have eternal life? He had to die in order to come back to life and give meaning to our quest. Do you repent for your treachery? I do it again, Venus. <gasps> what should we do with him, brothers and sisters? Life or death? Let it be death, then. But Satan is the only merciful God, and he is going to give you a second chance. After your death, you will return to life to serve him again, docilely and without any possibility of betrayal. You wouldn't dare. You can't do that to me. Ah, but I can. In nomine de nostri Satanas Luciferi Excelsi. After years of searching, we've hit on the exact combination of torture and alchemy elements that make up the formula for eternal life. Miguel de Castro, you've been tortured according to the ritual, and now you will drink from the chalice of eternal life. Salt and sulfur to purify it. Iron to strengthen it. Gold to return. Mercury. Fire in honor of Satan. Mercury. And the coin of judgment to outwit the creator himself. Mercury to remember. The moment is at hand, brothers and sisters. Make him drink it! Now, brand him with fire so that we recognize him when he returns. Satan, you who have granted eternal life to this heretic, allow me to take it from him momentarily, so that he may rise again and give evidence of your works. Kill the prisoner. In the name of the Holy Inquisition, the sacrilegious priest, Hines de Ondorna, and all the members of the Diabolic Order of the Flesh, they shall be judged in their own blasphemous church, and burned under the open sky, as an example to other heretics. This sentence is executed today, the 31st day of August of the year 1501 of our Lord. I choke. <laughs> Your friend, Mr. White's about to arrive. He wants you to prepare him a recipe. You remember it, don't ya? Cat got your tongue? I do remember you. And I, you, every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> Don't move! 